What's going on YouTube, Geosnoid here, so in today's video I have some important news about jailbreaking on iOS 13.3, 13.2, 13.2 and so on, and of course some important news about the CDA Impactor. Now there's no new exploit released or anything, but Apple has changed a couple of things and they are very important if you want to jailbreak in the future. For example, they completely dropped the iOS 13.3, 13.2 and even 12.4.2 which were signed yesterday but they are no longer signed now, so if you're planning to jailbreak your device do not update to 13.2 because there is no kernel exploit available for that version. We do have a kernel bug available for 13.3 and lower but not for 13.2. So as you can see Apple went completely all out and they removed iOS 13.3, 13.2 and even 12.4.2. So this means that if you're planning to jailbreak your device in the future you should definitely stay on a lower version. Now of course if you're planning to use the check range jailbreak which will be released either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow this is going to be a jailbreak for the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 4s on any iOS version. So there isn't really a point into staying on a specific version, you can just go ahead and update to 13.2 if you have an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 7 and so on because these devices can jailbreak on whatever version you are at. But if you have an 812 device, for example an iPhone 10s, 10s Max or 10R, or if you have an iPhone 11 or 11 Pro, you are definitely bound to stay on a lower version otherwise you will not be able to jailbreak. Now the uncovered jailbreak might be updated once a TFP0 kernel exploit is out and pound to own expressed his desire to update to 13.3 and so on once that is possible, but for the moment there is no TFP0 kernel exploit. There is however a kernel bug that was released, which I mentioned in the beginning of the video. It was released by Sorry My Bad a couple of days ago, you probably remember I made a video on it, and this one works on 13.3 and lower. This seems to be a good kernel vulnerability, which although is not exploited for the moment, a POC or proof of concept has been released and it looks pretty promising. Following the release, Pound Own posted that if you're planning to jailbreak your device you should definitely stay on iOS 13.3 or lower and he also mentioned the fact that an iOS 13 or 13.3 and so on jailbreak will definitely be harder on an A12 device so it may take more time even with a TFP0 kernel exploit because probably there are new patches that have to be created and so on. So although we do have a kernel vulnerability for 13.3 which does work on A12 devices it was tested on iPhone XS Max if I remember remember well, we do not have any kernel vulnerability for 13.2 and no kernel exploit, so if your device is not compatible with the checkrain jailbreak or the checkmate exploit, and of course if you have an iPhone XS, XS Max and XR or an iPhone 11 or 11 Pro it's not compatible, you should definitely stay as low as possible, do not update. Now for those of you who have devices compatible with the checkrain, the POC or power of community has already started and tomorrow or the day after tomorrow we're going to finally get the uh, check range jailbreak if everything goes well. So yeah, wait for it, I'm going to make a video once it's out. But also we have some important changes from Apple to the uh, CDI Impactor and of course Reprovision. Matt Clark posted quote, warning, Reprovision has been broken by a server side change at Apple today. You will see an error message noting you must upgrade to Xcode 7.3 or later. I will fix this ASAP. Now if you're planning to use the Reprovision while it's still broken, you will get that error in there. But the fun fact is that CDI Impactor is also broken. You will get the same Xcode related error when you're trying to sign anything with CDI Impactor for the moment. Also, some people on Windows send me screenshots that the uh, problem appears on Windows as well. And that's due to the fact that Apple has changed something at the server side. So yeah, these have to be updated before you will be able to sideload applications again. Now Matt Clark is currently traveling and he will probably update Reprovision later, but for City Impactor we have no idea when it will be updated because Sorik has to update it himself. And as you probably know, Sorik hasn't been very interested in the jailbreak community lately. And of course, the uh, City Impactor is closed source, so only he can update it. But we're going to wait and see because City Impactor has received updates in the past even when he decided to no longer work on the substrate. So yeah, thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I'm Geosnow and till next time, peace out.